And just like that, it's time for Halloween. Because why not? 2020 is a time warp anyway. Sure, let's go for Halloween in about seven days. I thought you might like to learn a cool, fun, easy technique to whip up a little Halloween fun at home with your kids, with your man, with your woman, with yourself. Cause you should always treat yourself. Let's go. I love printed shirts. I wear them all the time. You've seen them in this video and you've also seen them in that video and you're probably gonna see them in the video after this, but right now it's a little chilly. So I got my sparkly sweater on. So I'm going to teach you how to put some printed shiz on whatever shirt you want. Now, I'm gonna go full out and draw a monster, but you could easily write the words boo. You could put uh, the letter P on a shirt and wear an eye patch, and then you're a black-eyed P. That one comes courtesy of SMIL, a new addition to Mom and Dad Inc. You could write my on one shirt and boo on the other and stand next to your boo. Instant Halloween costume, especially when pretty much we're, um, we're doing drive-bys right now, aren't we? We're doing drive-bys. Yeah, because that's Halloween. I'm out of coffee. I think I need more coffee. Babe! Babe, I know. Where is he? I need more coffee. Supplies. Here's what you're gonna need. Your cutting mat, mine's pink. Some cardboard, some freezer paper, fabric paint, brushes, pencil and Sharpies, a cutting knife, a t-shirt, an iron, and your mind. Coffee? Yes, please. Where mm. you been? Mm. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm making a monster. What kind of monster? A coffee monster. Uh -oh. oh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's just Halloween. All right. Let's sketch out a little coffee monster here. I'm just gonna go um, freehand. I think he kind of looks kind of. He's got like crazy hair, and he's he's like I don't know. He he his his hand is empty. He doesn't have any coffee in it, you know, and that's that's no fun for him. Uh, and his. His mouth is, I mean, his mouth is wide open. He wants some coffee. He doesn't know where it is. And then he's, because he wants something. It's good to, it's good to act like what you're drawing. There he is, my monster is. He might be like a silent scream kind of monster. Please scream inside your heart, monster. Ah, 2020, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. That's the rough sketch of my coffee monster. Now it's time to transfer this dude to freezer paper. Yeah, he's a dude. He's just your average, you know, binary, um, prefers he, him, monster dude. Your monster can be whatever you want your monster to be. Right? Right? Let's get some freezer paper. Where is my freezer paper? Hold on a second, please. Okay, yeah. All right, freezer paper. They only had the economy size at the Walmart, so that's what I got. Freezer paper is awesome. I've never actually used it for its intended purpose, but the cool thing about this stuff is it's paper on one side and it's shiny waxy on the other. So when you draw on this side, you can then iron it and this waxy sticky side will stick to whatever you're ironing it to, making a perfect, easy DIY at home stencil that you did yourself. Okay, now we're gonna take our freezer paper and place that over our monster. I've got the shiny side of the freezer paper down and the paper side, the nice drawing side up. And I'm going to outline, you know, a general shape of what I just sketched out. And I can sort of 
fix what I sketched out rough as I'm going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I like that. So as you can see, there's negative space here and here and here. If I were to close this line up, um, you wouldn't actually have a stencil. So be aware of where you're gonna cut away and what you're gonna keep. Now, I could go like the easy route here and just write like, I, I don't know, boo, you know, and just cut those three shapes out and be done with it. But you know, I had to go full monster. Cause I'm extra. Have you met me? I'm Extra, also known as Marcy. Nice to meet you. Next, we're gonna cut our little monster dude out with an X-Acto knife. Cause what's his Halloween? Like a knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've gone over my lines with a Sharpie just so that it's a little nicer for my eyes to see and now we are going to take our X-Acto knife, being very careful, and we're just going to slice all along those Sharpie marks. I know he looks a little floopy right now, but it's totally gonna work when we press him down on top of the t-shirt. And to do that, we're gonna use some cardboard. Super high tech here. So let's uh, let's get our t-shirt out. I've got a plain old cotton poly blend t-shirt. I'm gonna take my cardboard and insert it into the guts of the t-shirt. Give us a nice flat, surface. When we get our stencil out and lay our monster down on top. Now I am placing the wax side down and the paper side up and I just arrange them where I want him to sit. And now we're going to get out ye old iron. Make sure you really hit each section with dry medium high heat for about 15 seconds. And now you've got to let it cool. You know the drill, hot cookie. Let it cool, let it set. I could really use some more coffee. He's always sneaking around back there. Okay, let's get our paint out. I'm gonna make my monster black so he really stands out against the t-shirt. And I'm using just a regular sort of cheapo hard bristle paintbrush. Some people like to use a foam brush, but I find I have more control with a paintbrush and I like to be in control. You're just putting a nice thin layer right along all of those edges you cut out and extend a little bit into the wax paper. All right, he's got to dry. Let's talk about paint while he's drying. I'm using fabric paint. It even comes 
in a glitter color. If you don't have fabric paint, you could use acrylic paint and add a fabric medium to it. And I will link all of those items down below in the box. So he's gonna sit for about, oh, 15 minutes while he dries. Oh my goodness, through the magic of YouTube, he's dry enough for us to peel the paper away. Now let's see what our monster looks like. Monster. See, there's no wax residue on your t-shirt, just your awesome sharp paint lines of your fancy monster. And again, you don't have to be so extra. You could put a simple ghost on your t-shirt. You could put a witch's hat. You could put a pumpkin face on an orange t-shirt. You could put a cup of coffee because I could use another cup of coffee. It's water. I don't want water. I want coffee. I want coffee! Drink! I'm gonna add a little something to my t-shirt. Let the man know what I want. The seam line on the back crotch curve may need to be deepened slightly. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Peace out. This is some peace. Coffee. Coffee. Perhaps a nice glass of frothy water. Is that coffee? Hydrate. It's good for you. Drink your water. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs>